shooting on with uh, with um, with our Dubai online. Is it going well? How does it work? It's going really well. I mean, as you know, last week would have been our fair week. Um, and, you know, we had to, we were quick, quick to realize that uh, we had to cancel the physical element of the fair and, and any events associated to it for obvious reasons. So um, we took very quick steps to initiate a number of um, digital initiatives. Uh, I mean, there's there's different layers to that. One is uh, is done to help promote and facilitate the the sale of works um, of artists that are represented by uh, participating galleries, and we've seen that with online viewing rooms uh, that also other fairs have launched. This is our second year uh, of launching the online catalog, and we've already seen. Uh, an incredible amount of more engagement with that side of things than last year for obvious reasons. I mean, this year, the, the only way people had access to those works were through our website. Um, so we've already had many, unexpectedly a lot of requests coming through um, for artworks, um, I think. I mean, I, I can. We, we're just compiling all the reports now, but as of the weekend, uh, we had uh, close to 300 I believe, concrete sales um, requests. So I don't know how many of those have uh, translated into actual sales, but uh, we have seen increased engagement with that. Mm -hmm. So one aspect is, is our online catalog, and that's really uh, to, to, to help support galleries and artists with sales. How many, um, uh, what, uh, sorry, is that the, what, is the yeah. subject I want to focus on about the sale? Yeah. How many galleries is there participating to the online catalog? Pretty much all of them, um, with maybe two or three exceptions, and... Um, the the way we they approached it and we approached it was that they would either uh, present works from their original 2020 uh, booth presentations, or other galleries uh, decided to not present works from those uh, booth presentations, but to present works from their extended artist rosters. So it's in fact inclusive, I believe, of if not everyone, but the overwhelming majority of galleries across all our sections. Oh, okay. So, how many galleries? Around ninety. Okay. Okay. And it, it was a. Uh, it's the first year that you are doing it, right? It's the second year. Ah, which second. Was, as I was saying before, it was. There's been a lot more engagement this year uh, for obvious reasons, um, but uh, certainly it has been a much more successful tool this year in terms of the engagement with it. And you have concrete mm -hmm. examples. Uh, well, we are liaising now, we're starting to liaise with galleries to see how many of those have resulted in concrete sales. So I'm, so, I'm sure we'll be releasing information soon about those instances. And um, what's the influence of the fair this year with the online presentation? I mean, do you think it's, the reaction comes more from the region? Mostly from the region? Well, I think that, I mean, our Dubai has always been a, a window and a portal to the extended global south, you know, and I think that's been translated into our digital uh, strategy now. And in fact, uh, the visibility and engagement of our website with different demographics. So we've always had, in terms of our audiences, which are now translating into digital audiences, uh, we've had a... Um, a strong Arab diaspora um, from the Middle East and internationally engagement. So we're observing that on, on the digital front as well. A very strong South Asian contingency. Asian, so, like what? South Asian, so audiences from India and Pakistan. Okay. okay. Uh, emerging communities, collecting and artistic communities from Africa. Mm-hmm. As well as international audiences, uh, who, I mean, when I say international, I mean from from the West, let's say from Europe and the US, who are hungry to discover art from the global South. Um, so we are seeing that being reflected uh, with our digital engagement. What do you think normally is the range of prices uh, for at the fair? About the range of prices. It covers a big range. Um, I mean, you can find works uh, from under for under five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. 
mm-hmm. um, you know, works on paper or specific prints. Um, uh, and it would go up to, I would say, half a million to... Last year, we had a, a couple of pieces on the 700,000 range. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect them to go higher than that. I think what is expected and what we're observing is that the specific types of work get better traction online um, because they're just uh, more easy to be consumed online and perhaps people already know about them uh, in advance. Like what? Uh, like, for example, Etel Adnan is one of the artists who's been getting the, more, the most uh, interest from the catalogue, and I think that makes sense in a way um, because of the style, the aesthetic of of her work. Um, One of the biggest uh, requests for information and sales inquiries have come for Hassan Hajjaj, whose work is pretty recognizable and and easily, you know, uh, consumed and viewed on online media and magazines and things like that. So um, these were sort of expected and verified sort of engagement interest for them. 